welcome to a brand new monthly favorites video for the month of June. Is it summer? Summertime. Sadness. Or if you want to go the Carrie, Katy Perry route, there's two different kinds. Katy Perry or Lana Del Rey. You're one of those girls. Anyways, I'm going off topic. Today we're going to talk about what I've been obsessing over this month. And we're going to talk about makeup first and what is on my lips. I love this type of makeup where it's just like barely anything on. I don't even have eyeshadow on. It's all contour. Like whatever contour I put on my face, I put on my eyes with some highlighter, this lip color, some lashes and black liner, and I am good to go. The lipstick I am wearing today is Kat Von D's Bow and Arrow. I love this color because it's like that brown type 90s vibe type of color. It's like lighter than the 1993 lipstick I'm obsessed with by Urban Decay. It is like a grunge everyday nude, you know what I'm saying? It's just so pretty and I love it. I just love the packaging. First of all, I love how thin these are because they look like writing pins, but no, they're lipstick. Another thing that I've been obsessed with this summer, I'm not wearing it today, but I've been loving this foundation for a full face of glam makeup. This is the Tarte Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. I'm making sure I'm saying it right. This reminds me of, there was a Revlon foundation that was like this that I was obsessed with. This is not good for traveling whatsoever, even though it's pretty. It's like a paperweight of glass. I wish they could figure out a way to make these a lot more... I was gonna say safer, they're not dangerous, but a lot more cleaner because it gets so freaking messy. Like whatever you do, the foundation goes around and like all over and I keep this on because I don't know if you're supposed to, but I'm just hoping and praying that it will like keep it cleaner, but it doesn't. This is like a gel. It's almost like a moussey consistency mixed with, if you mix mousse and foundation together, you would get this. And like I said, do not travel with this because it just looks like it would cause a disaster in your luggage. But it just blends so nicely into the skin. If you have dry to combination skin, I have super dry skin, this would be really good because it's high, supposed to be hydrating. And it just lays really nicely. It's like a medium to, and you could probably build it up to a full coverage and I really, really like it. Speaking of dry skin, you have probably heard about this all over YouTube. I know Bunny talks about this. I think Jeffree Star talks about this and I'm pretty darn sure that Jaclyn Hill talked about this. It's so expensive. It's the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist and I did not want to like this. I don't know why I bought it. Bought it. I think I bought it because I was with some friends in Sephora and when you're with your friends shopping, I mean, it's easily to be persuaded into things. This is like the NYX Dewy Matte Setting Spray, but this isn't really a setting spray. It's like a Japanese bottle of just pure magic. It smells so good. It smells like very florally but not too overpowering mixed with like a cleaning product. I know that sounds weird. There's like hints of like citrus cleaner in it. That sounds terrible but it's like that mix of floral and why am I spraying this just in the air like it's air freshener when this is like so expensive? I love this ombre. The packaging is gorgeous with the gold and purple ombre of course. But if you can't afford this, I would just get the NYX. I'm sure it's like $5 in between that range, less or more. It's less than $10. The NYX Dewy Finishing Spray, because this is like for your skin beginning and after makeup. But I just love it for dry skin. It just like makes you glow and makes it look like your skin's not drying and flaking off in the summertime or weather. So for makeup, my absolute favorite lashes that I discovered lately that I'm wearing today, you could probably barely tell I'm wearing lashes, but that's why I like them. I like lashes that look like they actually grew from my eyelid skins by myself without support and help. It's like when you move away from your parents and you just hope and pray that it doesn't collapse on you like your life and like people think this is real and not illusion. That's what false lashes remind me of. This is the Ardell Natural 110 lashes. And I got them in a multi-pack because you know how many videos I film and how many times I lose these suckers. So I made sure I got the multi-pack and they're still pretty cheap for, I mean, Ardell's like the best for beginners, for affordableness. I just love them and it feels like you're barely wearing anything if, as long as you put them on correctly, which I think I did today, I hope cross my fingers but these are so so good I love them speaking of skin we have to talk about face masks I feel like those and highlighter is like what's in what's trending right now if there was a news report about 
all the trends of makeup on the internet and YouTube and everything, this will be one of them. Not this exact mask, but masks in general. I love this one. This is the Glam Glow Sonic Blue Gravity Mud Mask. And let me just open it up for you. First of all, look at this color. Have you seen the picture of me in it? Like all over the internet. I've probably like been on Snapchat a couple times with this. It smells like freaking coconut candy sugar. Oh, so good. And it's gorgeous color. Okay, but first of all, you need to make sure that you wash your face very well before you put this on or else it will literally burn your skin more than it should. It burns a little bit, but it's like that good burn, like that minty medicinal burn. It's not like, oh my gosh, my skin's on fire and I'm going to turn into Freddy Cougar in five seconds. It's like actually doing something to your skin and then it peels off like you're like a little iguana salamander thing you just peel it off your face and it's so magical you look like a blue alien and anything that brings me to my truest form of an alien I'm all about and it makes your skin feel so like soft and supple and healthy and I swear my skin's like tighter and I swear like if you put it like right don't put it too close to your eye but the lines right here like lighten up a little bit I swear to you it does I'm too afraid to use this right now because under all this makeup, I don't know if you can tell, I had a bad reaction to some liquid latex and I'm praying that I'm not allergic to liquid latex, but we will see. Another thing I've been obsessed with, the only thing I do for myself to pamper myself is paint my nails. I don't know why, it's just so therapeutic to me. So I will be up till like 2 or 3 in the morning painting my nails, swear to you, I will. And then I run them under cold water after I'm done, hoping that it will dry faster and I won't wake up with nail polish all over my bed. But I wanted to get a more natural nail polish remover because I ran out of the acetone one in my cuticles with the summer sun. They were just getting dry and disgusting. So I got the natural polish remover, 100% natural. Pure Vitality Beauty is the brand of it. And it comes with this little eyedropper option, which I love. And like one whole, well, it never gets the whole syringe. It gets about a third of the syringe full with every pump. And that third of the syringe will get away one whole nail polish so I hope this doesn't like go away too soon because I've only used this about four times and it's already to here but I'm not complaining because my cuticles don't look like they've been, eat been eaten by crows while I was asleep they actually look like semi-normal cuticles and it has like natural oils that will leave your nails and cuticles more healthy and strong and I've noticed a difference in my nails like I paint them so much it's a problem, an issue, that they start peeling away. So gross, I know, and they get really thin. But with this, it doesn't like have that peely ends of it as much, and my cuticles look better. So I'm pretty sure it's due to this. I've been using this for a month or so, and I got this on Amazon. It's pretty pricey compared to regular acetone nail polish remover, but you're paying something that's worth the money that's good for your skin and nails. Speaking of skin, my absolute favorite soap Bath Soap Company makes lotions too and they make body butters and they made one called Fairy Cake and this was in their summer collection and I'm not sure if it's a permanent collection or if she just made this for a certain amount of people because I got this in a PR package but it was so, oh, so good. It smells like a berry buttercream cake. Like, I forgot what the cake company was. It's Sweet Something that me, Shane, and Trish used to go to. And we had this princess cake in Hollywood that was so delicious. And I can't eat it anymore because I'm allergic, but it was so good. We eat so much that it would literally make us sick. And that's what this reminds me of and smells. It smells like berry freaking cake. And you just like get a little bit of this because it's a body oil, lotion-y thing. And you rub it all over and you just smell like a heavenly berry cake dream and even Corey approves of this like and it's so pretty it's like this pretty lavender color let's go into fashion as you can tell I have a lot of it because I wear men's clothes Elvis t-shirts and floral things I don't have that much of a fashion sense but when I find something I like I know I like it and I really wanted a chambray I think that's what it's called like a button-down it almost looks like a men's button-down shirt but it's like a jean one built for they have ones built for women too and I went to the good old Old Navy I feel like Old Navy's that store that's affordable and it's good for all ages and it's very plain and modern but I just wanted a jean button down shirt and I'm like let's go to the Old Navy I mean it'll be affordable and, and I'm sure they'll have one of course they had like five options but I found this one and I think I got it in a large because the extra large was a little too big which was surprising because I got big chesticle big mass boob things 
TMI, but I thought I could use this as like a jacket, like a light summer jacket. This looks so cute with like a patterned shirt in like black shorts that have, of course I love lace things, like black lace shorts with this and gladiator sandals and a cute top with this tied around your waist or a really cute summer floral dress with this and you can like cuff up the sleeves and like look cute on the beach with your flip flops. Oh my gosh, this was a very, I can't even speak, I'm so excited. This was a very like cute printed, even like a big bustly like skirt thing and this like tied at the bottom next to the skirt would look so freaking cute and kind of rockabilly-ish, but that's like so my jam. Another thing I have to talk about that I found at Old Navy while I was looking at the Jean Chambray boyfriend looking top is this fringe purse. Isn't this so cute? It's like that perfect size that's not too small or too big and it goes over your body. And I just love playing with this when I have it with an outfit. And this is like that neutral color that goes with almost everything, in my opinion. I wish they had this in black and they had matching sandals in both colors because I'd buy it all. Now let's talk about my favorite absolute album this month. I've been blasting it while I'm editing, which is rare because not many music I could listen to while I edit because I start singing to it or listening to the lyrics and concentrating on that than the actual project in front of my face of trying to edit these videos for you guys. And I can listen to it while I'm like working out, while I'm like doing everyday life, cooking and everything. It is the Flume album, F-U-L-M-E. The album's called Skin. Flume is the person that makes the music. I heard about this from Kiki Yang Z. I hope I said her YouTube name right. I'm obsessed with her channel. She was in my monthly favorites before. And it is so good if you're into like techno kind of more house music. I can't pick an exact song that I love from it because all of it is gold. And just like it puts you in this trance and helps you concentrate whatever task is at hand in front of you. I can't explain it, but then also it's good to like move your body too. I have to talk about my favorite TV show, which is a kid's show and I can't believe I'm admitting this, but I'm addicted to the TV show Steven Universe. I forget the person who suggested me the show. It was on Instagram and it was one of you guys and I want to thank you so much and I wish I remembered your name, but that show is so good. I'm like at first, it like you're like why am I watching this this is a kid's show and at first you're like okay it's a kid who really likes food which I can relate to honestly but he just like is hanging out with these special super power hero people it's like the Powerpuff Girls to the max like they're older than the Powerpuff Girls but they all have their specific unique personalities and like their own jobs and their whole like teamwork community thing and Steven's whole story on like his mother passing away and stuff is so interesting you learn so much more about him throughout the whole first season that you get hooked to it and it's only like 20 minutes of my day and you're like I want to sit here and just vegetate and watch all of these and it's very kitty and very animated but it's so freaking cute and it's so interesting let's talk about one of my absolute favorite things I did this month when Corey was down my boyfriend that's so weird to say still but we went to go see the shark encounter, which is basically you get to prep the food for the sharks and pet the sharks and swim with the sharks at the Long Beach Aquarium, which they're so much more humane to animals, I feel like, than the Seal Beach, not Seal Beach, what am I saying? Sea World Aquarium thing. We swam with the shark that was on the TV show Tanked, I think it was, and she was so nice. She was a zebra shark. And it was just so much fun and we were like in these really tight wetsuits and felt really fat and awkward and there was everybody staring at us because we were like in the middle of this pool thing in front of the whole, I feel like everybody was there just staring at us. But I didn't care because it was so incredibly much fun. It's like the price of a Disneyland ticket honestly, but I feel like you get so much more from it and like connecting to animals to me is just like so magical. Yeah, it was so fun. I want to do it again. We want to go back and do sea lions and sea otters. Favorite movies, oh my gosh, there's not one, but two favorite movies. I saw Central Intelligence with one of my best friends because she's obsessed with The Rock, Pam, my little friend Pam. And that movie was so much more than I expected. It was really funny, really witty, and like the plot was so interesting and it did a lot of twists and turns. You didn't know where the plot was going. And I'm like, excuse me, The Rock, you're making me question everything. You're so good in this. He was really funny and Kevin Hart, I was so surprised, was really funny in it too and it was really good. 
another movie I have to talk about because I didn't make up of it recently was The Conjuring 2. I did the makeup from Valak and it was the first time that I ever went to the movies by myself because none of my friends wanted to see it because it's so scary. So I'm like, I'm just going to go by myself. I've never done this before, but I saw some of you there, but none of you were actually in the theater with me. I would have literally sat with you and watched the movie. It was like this the whole time, but it was so good. I love scary movies and I love getting scared even though I get scared really easily. The plot, the, oh my gosh, can we talk about the setting, the set in that movie was so good inside the house in England. I absolutely loved that. I love how it was like 70s vibes and I just loved her outfits. <sighs> she had such beautiful outfits. She had this like red jacket on with like this frilly white. It was so, cause it was based in the 70s and it's, I'm, I like dressing like the 70s sometimes. It was so, so good. And it's rare to see a sequel to a movie that's just as good if not better than the first one. And I feel like this was actually better than the first one in Valak that Creepy Nun I did the makeup of is so scary. When I was editing that, I still get creeped out. That movie was probably out of the two, my absolute favorite of this whole month. It was so good. And last but not least, my monthly favorite is an app called Rain Rain App. And it's like this app that you could go to sleep to, literally. You could get rain options, listening to sounds of rain, ocean, thunderstorms, crackling fire, thunder cracks, city rain from regular rain, rain on a tent, rain in a forest, summer rain. There's like all these different types of rains with seagulls and all these different types of outdoor motions of water and desert winds and stuff. And you could not only choose one of these, but you could mix up to three of them at a time like your own little custom mix and they actually have mixes like campy mix of rain and fire campfire which i understand that because the rain would knock out the campfire but you can set for a time like how long you want it to go like i set it for an hour if i'm not asleep by an hour this app won't help me and life in general won't help me. So you can set it for how long you want it playing before your phone shuts down. And it actually works sometimes and I'm like, thank you app. So yeah, the app's called Rain Rain. This is not sponsored, not non-sponsored whatsoever. I just absolutely love anything because it's really hard for me to shut my brain down because I have so many things I'm thinking of all the time. and makeup videos and all these types of ideas in my brain that it's hard to go to sleep at night most of the times. I feel like I'm talking to a therapist, but you guys are my best friends. So those are my monthly favorites. Leave me a comment down below on what your favorite movie you've seen recently. Even if you don't go to the movies, I rarely go to the movies, but for some reason I did a lot this month. Even if you're Netflixing and chilling by yourself, I'm all about that life. Leave me a comment down below. Love you guys, and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye. Hey friends, what if I start all my videos that, hey friends, like really annoying loud pitch voice. Another thing I have to talk about that I found at the Old Navy's is this fringe back, that backpack. I feel like Blue Hawaii. Do you ever have those shirts that you just have really bad luck in one day and now you want to burn it? This is that shirt for me. Don't know why I'm wearing it today. Because it's floral. I can't speak today. I think my shoulder just popped. Wow, well, can't. It sounds cool.